Do you like violet flowers? Spring is full with violet color and in this tutorial we will make violet flower watercolor mixes. For the next painting I choose violet anemone flower. It is already fading but it's so nice to have real subject in front of you. For watercolor mixing we need palette, sample of paper, water, color swatches, simple brush and watercolors. All is ready and we can mix watercolors. Starting by adding water to color palette and first is ultramarine blue that I will be using in this tutorial. Then I have red violet which is a very intense pink pigment. Let's mix them together, ultramarine blue together with red violet and we have a very vibrant violet color adding mix to my paper sample and I have my faded anemone but still I can compare. For the second mix I am instead of red violet using permanent rose which is a very nice and vibrant pink color and the mix is also perfect. Let's try indigo together with permanent rose and we have a very intense and dark violet color adding a little bit more of permanent. When you are making watercolor mixes don't forget to write down the recipe so you know after some while which pigments you tried, which color variations. Let's try another mix. Pearl and violet and ultramarine blue. This will be a very nice color mix for the shadow area. Now I want to show you some watercolor mixes using red pigment and why I'm not using in this case. I'm taking ultramarine blue together with alizarin crimson for our first mix and it seems violet but if I compare to my previous mixes it is slightly off. It's not so vibrant and fresh if we want to make a more fresher our violet color, going over with watery wash of clean pink pigment will do the trick. And you can see how beautiful mix is. And let's try ultramarine blue together with Senalia red. Senalia red is very vibrant and beautiful color, but together mixed with ultramarine blue for these anemone flower, it's even more duller and not so fresh. Study for anemone watercolor painting is done. And here is line drawing for my next painting that I want to paint using these watercolor mixes. Before starting painting it is so important to look for the right watercolor mixes, have the right reference photo and then you can continue with painting. Thank you and see you in my next tutorials. Bye bye!